on the insects, uh, which at that time was quite progressive and revolutionary because insects signal change, and change was what wanted the political activists at the time uh, advocated. And we tend to, in our normal historical thinking, we tend to think that you know our history evolved from the more realistic pursuit of very similitude effect to the more abstract. But when it comes to the first two decades in China, actually that's not the case. The Southern was much more progressive, modernized, and mod mo modern uh, modernity uh, minded, whereas the Northern was a backwater and uh, conservative and entrenched in its taste of the old masters, in which case would be old masters of the old China, which is, I know, something would, would be something like this. So this is actually much more progressive at that time uh, compared with, uh, with this. But in any case, uh, Qi Bai combined these two, took, took, uh, took inspiration from both modes, and then you could see that um, came up with the synthesis, which I think this painting fully exemplifies. You could see uh, a very closely observed and captured and painted uh, cicada um, on the on the some kind of abstract plant, uh, which uh, uh, brushed in very broad strokes, and um, and to the extent that. In this case, a Southern revolutionary uh, activist who praised this painting by Qi Bai Shi and saying that you only ask for about two, do, two yuan, actually I'm willing to pay 100 yuan because it is really worth that much. And uh, in the uh, in inscription, the artist himself, I don't know what he sees in it because it doesn't <laughs> seem to be that good, <laughs> uh, nor do I see it that, that, that good, actually. But what I suspect is that uh, this kind of uh, insect painting conjured up in the revolutionary southerners a kind of memory of the exciting days when they were, you know, overthrew the, Qing, uh, the Manchu Qing and restaging the revolution. Yeah. In the 1920s, Qi Bai Shi, when he was struggling, when he was experimenting with insects, and that was much more dynamic uh, Qi Bai Shi in becoming uh, Qi Bai Shi, and because it was not just the artist himself, he essentially, and that insect painting, that insect embodied the yearning for change that was much needed in China at the time.